Right guys, White Whale Magnet Fishing. Um, we're doing an unbox today on the Magnet Store 330 clamp magnet. And we're also going to do a setup as well. So, as usual, it comes in the Magnet Store yellow box. We've unleashed the power. Get the power you deserve. So let's open the box and there it is. So let's take it out and have a look. I'll tell you something, there's a bit of weight to that. Obviously you get the magnet. And you get the eyelet as well. In case you're wondering with the eyelet, it is slightly magnetic because it's stainless steel that it, you can pull it away easily. It's, there's no fault with the magnet, same with the washer. It's got stainless steel, has a different compound makeup, so it doesn't stick to the magnet, whereas a normal washer, you'd be struggling to get it off. The way I put these on is the spring washer on first and the thick washer and you also need to use some kind of thread lock so put your thread lock on to your bolt he says We've not used it a while, the tip is cutting off. So yeah, just put some on. You don't have to put as much on as me, but I don't want it to come out. And then screw the eye bolt in as far as you can get it. And using something like this, be careful not to get your hands stuck. Get it tightened up as much as you can. And there we have it. Let the uh, thread lock go off. 24 hours Let's give it a quick clean round It's called a power mall knot So basically Get your rope At the end Bring Both ends together into a loop push both through there, like that, and then you bring that under through, just like that, and then feed your magnet through that loop. Tighten all these up, making sure it looks neat in the process. You just keep pulling each one until it becomes tight and there we have it we've got two loops going through the eye and three wrap round and then with this excess bit 
I use something called self amalgamating tape. It's not sticky at all. Basically, pull that up there. Start here. And you stretch it to twice its length. And because it's called self amalgamating, you overlap it as you go round and it sticks to itself, creating a watertight barrier. And when you get to the end, lock it down single. over the double put that on single again just to seal the end up you may think it's overkill but I know it's not going to come off get a knife Bit around. There you have it. Nice, neat rope. And we're ready to go fishing now. Thanks for watching this little video. See you in the next one.